Hey guys, this is BMW OSS, and um, I uh, I'm sorry. This video should have. Uh, I'm I'm gonna like have a routine now of uh, uploading videos when I have time. Hopefully, I'll release one about uh, once a week or so. Uh, more often. I'm sorry if this uh, if this is a little slow, but it might pick up a bit depending on what I've got on uh, school and stuff. Uh, I, I don't have a lot of time to render and uh, and eat, just capture off my PS3 or everything off theatre that I have. Um, Alright, so uh, I was uh, ENZ or ENZ, um, one of my, or well, my most sort of uh, faithful subscribers, uh, reminded me that um, I was talking about, uh, what was I talking about last week? Oh yeah, I was talking about Australia and the overpriced map packs, and he said that the other problem, he, I think he's in Brazil, but he said uh, the other bigger news in terms of gaming in Australia is that Mortal Kombat has been um, banned in Australia. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go through all this uh, with you guys, which probably most of you are American, and don't know what this is all about. Okay, so... Australia, in our in Australia we have our ratings board. You have the ESRB, I think. You think you have the ESRB board. We have the Australian uh, uh, classification board, and um, our classifications go G, which is general, which means anyone can purchase uh, it, anyone can watch it, or be exposed to it. You know, play it, watch it. Uh, next we have PG, which is um, anyone can purchase it. But uh, it's recommended that young children are accompanied by an ag uh, an adult, and that's like it says 15 years and under. But then Simpsons, for example, is uh, PG, and no 15-year-old gets their mum and dad to sit in while they're watching. That, that's a bit. I don't know why that's like that. It's just a little bit weird. But anyone can purchase that. Anyone can watch that, and it's pretty timid. Um, then there's M which uh, people get confused about. In America, the ESRB rates things as M as, uh, I think it's 17 plus. In Australia, it's 15 plus, and there's no actual uh, buying restrictions on it. So even if you're six years old, you can go to a store and buy something that's M. There's no age restriction. It's just uh, recommended for mature audiences. Um, next, we have MA. And um, this uh, is where the video gaming classification um, uh, sort of rating stops so MA is the highest and that's 15 years and older to buy you have to be over 15 so there is an age restriction on that um, which is the age 15 and uh, that's our highest so things that are, are released as well we have uh, games uh, in well in America you have uh, games released for 17 and older that gets toned down to 15 and older here but if a game is people if uh, the board thinks it's too violent for even f for like 15 year olds and 16 year olds then it bans it there's no R rated game sort of uh, there's no R rated uh, sort of classification in Australia for games in movies and everything we have it it's um but uh, games we don't, so uh, it's it. I think it's I think it's a big problem actually because more and more games are getting this uh, uh, getting this classification. For example, uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Um, it uh, had an R. Uh, it it was banned in Australia, and so we had to get the crappy toned down version, which was terrible. There was like no blood. The zombie bodies just disappear as soon as you kill them, and it really, I think, ruined the whole sort of experience of the game. And I'm not saying that the game needs to have blood and gore and everything, but especially in like a zombie thriller, like well, a zombie game like uh, Left 4 Dead, um, sort of the piles of zombie corpse and and the gore is actually an incredibly uh, big part to it all. You know, in all zombie movies, we've got a mass amounts of uh, gory special effects and such. Uh, it's just what they are. Anyway, so, um, then we have, uh, uh, more, uh, oh, there was a Predator, Alien vs. Pre I don't know what it was, which, what it was, but it was like a Alien game. I think it was called Alien. It was one of the, out of that series. I didn't really follow it very much, but, uh, that was also banned, and there was no toned-down version, so we didn't get it. 
There are a couple of others, and the most recent is Mortal Kombat. So, um, Mortal Kombat, uh, I can't even remember, I think it was Mortal Kombat 2, or Mortal Kombat was banned in Australia. Um, whoever, I can't, I'm sorry, I didn't do my research, whoever brings out Mortal Kombat, they have made a statement saying that uh, they will try whatever they can to see if it can uh, get through, which means possibly toning it down and censoring some stuff. Um, to see if they can get it through, but I think this is a real wake-up call to show people that, um, especially the classification board, that um, an 18 rating is really needed. Now, if an 18 rating comes, I probably won't even buy any 18 rated games. Number one, I can't. I'm 15. And number two, the games that seem to be rated uh, 18 plus don't really appeal to me. I'm not a Mortal Kombat fan. Um, and I'm not really a uh, Left 4 Dead... Oh, I am a bit of a Left 4 Dead fan, but you know... Um, I, I'm fine with waiting for the next one, you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so they... So... Uh, hang on, I've lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. So, uh, we don't actually have a 18 rating, and, um... Which means a lot of people who are fans of these games can't buy it. Now, this is, uh, a very... Out w what's happening is that, uh, the board thinks... And all the politicians think that the average gamer is aged, like, 10 years old. In Australia, the average gamer is age 21. So, the average... Uh, well, the majority of gamers are over 18. They are all adults. And so then to tell an adult that they... they This is too violent for you. It's like tre treating, like a th like, treating them like a three-year-old is ridiculous. If, if you are an adult, I believe you have the right, as long as it's not illegal, to view what, whatever you like. And, um... And, uh, it's just part of, it's just, I think it's just a, a right you should have. You, you can make a judgment on what, on what's suitable for you. You don't need a government to tell you, oh, this is too violent for you, I'm sorry. Uh, not, but for every other country it's fine, but for you it's too violent. I think that's just ridiculous. And people have been really pushing to get, uh, this R18, uh, rating, uh, well, to have an R18 rating added. Um, and... I, I I really hope it goes through because this would be it's already pissing a lot of people off that they can't play uh, a lot of people's favourite games that um, are being now banned and I think games are getting more violent and so um we're getting more and more bans uh, we've had a few we've had a few breakthroughs we've we've tried we've tried to pass bills or whatever laws so you can have an R18 rating but um. I don't know how successful we've been. We've had, a, I think, we made a f bit of an impression, but you know, uh, it's nothing uh, big. And uh, the uh, the well, I've learned, I've uh, been watching. Um, in Australia, we have a great, um, a great sort of. It, it's it's a it's on a it's on the main channel ABC, which is the uh, f uh, sort of free to air government paid broadcasting show sort of channel and uh it's called uh good game and they um they're really good they are uh, they've been following this they've been uh giving all the news and everything uh, a really good show actually um even if you're in america you'd probably enjoy it um it's got a bit of australian news but in terms of game reviews and stuff it's still it's still very relevant to everyone uh, I would recommend uh, it's on iTunes for free. It's a, a podcast, free podcast. But uh, anyway, they've been following it, and uh, they, they keep bringing out news about it. Um, we've it it's it takes a lot to get something changed, as you probably all know. It's in every country. It takes quite a bit of work to get a, a law changed, and um, yeah. So uh, I, I hope the uh, R18 rating is added. Because, I mean, in three years, I want to be able to play games that I want to be able to play. And I don't think uh, anyone has the right to tell an adult that they are too young. Well, not too young. They are too... They, they, their brains will explode if they view this violent content. I think uh, everyone has their own... That has sort of their right to... Uh, well, they, they can make their own choices. Um, Alright, so... um. Yeah, that that's the uh, issue. That's what's happening. That's why I won't have Mortal Kombat, and I don't have Left 4 Dead 2. Well, at least not the good version. Um, oh, just uh, a quick thing. Um, the
another another game that was uh, modified because of the rating system was Fallout 3. In Australia, the Fallout uh, the Fallout uh, game had some sort of depiction of drug use in the um, in the general ver version. So for Australia, we had to cut a bit of it out. But uh, that that didn't really affect anyone. But it seems to be uh, the issue seems to be affecting more and more people as. Uh, as the years go on and as games get more violent, so I really think Australia needs a ratings overhaul. Um, and yeah, so thanks guys for watching. Uh, even if you're in America, I'll promise to bring some more sort of uh, stuff that's more relevant to you. But uh, anyway, see you guys, and uh, thank you for ENZ for uh, suggesting this topic. Alright, see you guys.